failure is the opportunity to start again more intelligently. What do I mean? If you are trying to start a business but you failed, if you're in a relationship but it failed, whatever you want to do, if you failed at it, doesn't matter. It means that there's an opportunity coming. A friend of mine said to me, you don't get rejected, you just get redirected to something else. I'll give an example. When I first started in real estate, I started buying a lot of property really quick. I borrowed millions and millions of dollars. What happens is when you gear up too quick, property market doesn't work right, you've got to figure out a way. So then I started thinking about, okay, well, I've got these properties that I can't rent. How can I rent them out? I had to find another way. I found a way called a rent to buy. So you can rent a property and you can buy it at the same time. I had to figure out ways to find these people who wanted to actually buy these properties and rent them. So I had to figure out marketing, I had to figure out entrepreneurship, I had to figure out how to do social media, I had to figure out how to do videos. And you know what happened? I started to develop a skill which now I use every single day. Hence this video, hence a lot of the other business I started that created it. Now, when people ask me, how do you learn from that mistake? What is the mistake that you need to learn in order to overcome that? And so you've always got to look about how are you learning things and how are you deciding to keep moving forward on the mistakes that you make? They say that if you make the mistake once, it's okay. You make the mistake the second and third time it's not okay my advice to you if you have failed at something let's say you didn't do so well in your exams let's say you failed in school by the way i failed in school right i didn't do so well in school i wanted to get to the best universities to get into animation couldn't get in because I wasn't smart enough, I wasn't intelligent enough, but intelligence doesn't equal wealth. These are some of the lessons that I can restart again. I'll give you another example. If you're ever in a business and for whatever that business disappears, what have you learned from? You got the skill sets, you have the mindset, you have the contacts, you have the experience. And one thing that people cannot take away from you is your experience. You have years and years and years of experience in the things that you do, but we don't utilize it to the best of our ability. What do I mean by this? So when I started in property investment, I failed quite a lot in some of the deals that I did. Some did really well, some didn't do so well at all. I got properties that were costing me a fortune every single month. So I had to figure out a way to create more income. I had to figure out another way to find more people to work with. I had to figure out a way to be able to market myself, to be able to attract the right talent to me. At the end of the day, these things happen to you for a reason. It's kind of like the universe that says to you, hey, this is happening. You better start doing this. I'll give an example. I had a friend of mine, we just had dinner here. And he said to me, you know, John, I spent two million pounds buying a yacht. During the pandemic, when you know, he was renting that yacht, he was chartering out, he was making money from it. And then that almost cost him two million. When the pandemic happened, he got a call saying, hey, we want to buy this yacht from you because we don't be locked at home, we want to travel. Luckily, he found the buyer for that. But that's kind of the universe kind of poking at you saying, hey, you gotta be careful that you're making all this money, don't go and spend it, reserve some of it. When I look at things to be able to restart, if you got fired from my job, look, when I was first working in London, I worked as a computer animator. I basically got fired from my job, meaning I had to go out and look for new things. So what happened, I got a new job, I had a higher salary, and then I started to work with more people in that industry as well. All because there is a setback or a failure, you need to start reframing that as a restart. There's not failure, there is a restart to something else. We restart the thing that we've always want to do sometimes it happens to you because the universe is telling you now it's time for you to do that thing that you were born to do i've had this all the way through my life you know whether it's real estate whether it's business partners whether it's entrepreneurship for me the number one thing that i'm always thinking about is what did i learn from this what is the number one lesson i learned from this so for example those of you who start businesses you should get good legal counsel that's one big lesson that's been a thing that's a common theme that's been running all the way through my business but not only that like what i really realized is I failed a lot in marketing. I failed a lot in social media. For years and years, I was putting things on social media every day, like hoping that videos would go viral. And I kept putting it out again and again and again. And one time I put this video out, bang, it goes viral. It has 10 million views, 44,000 people shared it. 44,000 people. Was that a failure or was that success? The way I look at it is I had to fail a lot to get to that success. And when I achieved that success, I found the formula on what works and I restarted it. Hence, that's one of the reasons why I started a brand new YouTube channel. I learned so many mistakes from people that don't do this, don't do that. And I tried this and it didn't work. And I tried that, it didn't work. And then when I try certain things, it does work. There've been so many times in my life where I could have said, I've got to start from the start again. I've got to start right at the beginning. And unfortunately, that does not empower you. It disempowers you. Instead, you should say, you know what? This stuff happened. It happened anyway. It happened for a reason. Here are the things that I learned. And here's what I'm going to restart with. A friend of mine said to me that I've not seen for a little while. He said, John, you know, I've known you pretty much all your life in the entrepreneurship. I see all the things that you've been through and you know a lot of people would just retreat and they would just disappear into the background. You however 
you've doubled down on the things going forward. Yeah, because I have a passion, I have a vision. I wanna do something, I wanna do something great, I wanna do something impactful. I don't see that as restarting, even though it kind of is restarting. I see that as, imagine you've developed all these superpowers and you take them into the new journey and now you can accelerate. That's honestly what I want you all to start paying close attention to because the moment you focus on failure, you get more failure. Where focus goes, the energy flows. And that's where money is created, especially for those of you who want to start a business. Let's say you're in a relationship. Relationships happen and don't happen. You break up for a relationship. You split from a partner. What is that saying to you? Were you supposed to be with that person in the first place? Or is the universe giving you another lesson? I'll give you another example. I just got back from an incredible clinic here and it's called Lifespan. And they talk about longevity. They use a lot of AI. They use a lot of technology. So they took some blood tests. They took some measurements. They used artificial intelligence to monitor on my face and or, you know, if there's anything that is standing out. And uh, you look at the amount of data that I got from that. When I weigh myself, I was shocked. Because every time I travel, I'm always eating a lot of food, right? Hence, I've got some food coming in the moment. I tend to put on a little bit of weight. But what I realized is that it was a wake-up call for me. Because when they asked me how much I weighed, I told them. When I told them, I weigh myself, and it was actually a lot more than what I told them because I thought, oh my God, there's no way I put on that weight. And it was kind of like a wake-up call for me. And it's interesting because when I look at my journey in health, when I was in my early 20s, I had, you know, six pack. My body fat was like 10% body fat. I was like, yes. This was my health. And as the years went on, in my mind, even though I wanted to continue to do health and training at the gym, I never put that much effort into it. And it became this kind of feedback loop. Every single time I created, I guess these failures, I felt that I failed all the time I did this because I wasn't really seeing results. And that's why for a long time, my health journey has not been the best that it could be. I remember going to the gym and just spending six months just training and going, why are my stats not improving? I'm not thinking to myself that I gotta restart this health journey again. I gotta get back to 10% body fat. No, on the contrary, I now think that I've got new data, I've got new insights, I've got new knowledge, new aha moments that now give me the advantage. And that's how you look at your failure equals your advantage. Your advantage equals action, your action equals success. It's not failure as a setback, it's actually restarting. That's why for a lot of you, when you follow me on my YouTube channel and social media, you wanna know, John, how do I create more income? How to create more passive income? Well, I wanted to also talk about the main thing that drives it, which is how you think. How you think determines what you'll do, what you'll do determines what you actually take, what action you take determines where you're gonna be in the future. What you do and how you do something are miles apart. What you are capable of achieving and what you actually do, again, are worlds apart. So to help you with that, that's why I want to talk a lot about these, some of these quotes that have really resonated with me, but also a lot of the things that you get to hear, you hear me talk a lot, you go, John, that was a good quote, I like that. But there's actually a lot of mindset involved in that. And if you want to create success in your life, you must be successful inside. They say that you want to love somebody else, you must love yourself first. Because to love yourself first, you attract, there's not that desperate energy. And that's why when a lot of people fail, they don't restart, is because they have that energy that's carrying, oh, I'm a failure, I'm not good enough. Oh, your friends say I told you, so and you start getting those negative feedback. If you can now create a reframe around restarting with knowledge, with the edge, with expertise, with contacts, with wisdom, then that makes a huge impact, a massive impact. I just really wanted to share this message with you because I see a lot of people giving up too early. They say that the graveyard is the richest place in the world. Why? Because dreams die there. We don't want to die with the dream that we can achieve the things we want to achieve. You always hear me say that you've got to believe anything is possible because it is if you focus on that. Like, is it something that you want bad or you just kind of want it? And most people, they, oh, John, I want to become a millionaire. I just kind of want it. How much work have you done? How much time have you put into how many courses have you attended? How many mentors do you have? Not just one, you need to have many. Let me give you a big insight that I got from restarting. When you restart, first of all, you need to ask for help. Look at the people around you who can support you. Second thing is you need to implement fast, fast and quick. Why? Because what you don't want to do, you fail, and you get into the slump and you try and restart again. That's almost like when your car breaks down, you get out the car, you try and push your car, you get tired, then you stop pushing the car, then what happens? You have to exert all that energy again to push the car again. It doesn't make sense. So what does make sense? Momentum. You gotta have the momentum to follow through. The fortune is in the follow-up, but the fortune is also in the restart or the kickstart. When you kickstart something, you restart it, it comes back to life. And when you restart, guess what? All the old energy, the negative energy that you had, now gets transferred into new energy, and that new energy attracts new opportunities. 
That's why your thoughts will attract things to you, how you manifest things into your life. You think about bad things, you get bad things happen in your life. Think about good things, good things happen in your life. You, but you have to be open, your mind has to be open to that. If it's not open, it won't attract. And my goal for a lot of you is to attract it into your life, to make this a part of who you are, to make every single cell in your body, part of your DNA, to believe that it will work in the end. At the end of the day, it will work in the end. Failure is just a restart, but to restart more intelligently, and I would add, more strategically. So really hope we got a lot of value from this. If you love this, by the way, I'm gonna link a video at the end to show you some of the ways you can create more income and what are some of the new trends. And also, if you love this, hit the subscribe button and like this, because it just helps the algorithm for this channel. So when I upload new content, you see more content. And if you have any questions at all, you're struggling with something, maybe you, you failed at something, let me know in the comments. I will personally come into the comments and I will coach through the comments. I will answer some of the questions that you have, because I just feel it's a shame that people are so close to achieving what they really want, but they just give up too early because they failed too early. You look at a lot of billionaires, they had to go bankrupt a few times before they became billionaires. High risk, high reward. Really hope you got a lot of value from this. This is John Lee, your mentor. Do whatever it takes. And remember, believe anything is possible. Check out this video here.